Hey everyone, welcome to Cruise Blog. This is Angie, and today I'm going to talk about 17 tips you should know about Norwegian Cruise Line's drink packages. Let's get started. A drink package is a popular add-on for cruisers who want to save money or are worried about an unexpectedly large bill at the end of their cruise. Plus, they make your cruise vacation feel more inclusive. Norwegian Cruise Line offers their customers several options based on their preferences and habits. Soon-to-be cruisers should consider the cost of the package versus buying drinks a la carte, along with some pro tips to help stretch those vacation dollars as far as possible. First, it is important that you understand what drinks are included with Norwegian Cruise Line's base fare. Water, lemonade, fruit juices, coffee, tea, regular, and chocolate milk are all complimentary. For those who want a broader selection, drinks can be purchased individually or guests can buy drink packages to avoid a large bill at the end of their vacation. It's also important to be aware of what the drink prices are on board Norwegian ships. Popular drink prices on Norwegian cruises include beer for $7, wine by the glass, $8 and up with some as expensive as $31, cocktails are $9 and up, basic spirits range from $9 to $13, soft drinks are $3, specialty coffees range from $3 to $6, and water is $6.50 for a large carton. Next, there are five different Norwegian drink packages. The first Norwegian Cruise Line drink package offered is the Unlimited Open Bar Package. With this, you'll get access to a limited selection of spirits such as Jack Daniels Black, Captain Morgan Spiced Rum, Tito's Vodka, and more. It also includes select beer, cider, and spiked seltzers. Plus, you will also have a large selection of wines by the glass from around the world, including Chardonnay, Merlot, and more. If you want to enjoy a full bottle, you'll get a 20% discount. That isn't the only discount you'll get either. With this package, you'll get another 20% off wine and spirit experiences, tastings, flights, and connoisseur collection beverages. There's a maximum of $15 per drink. If you order a drink that costs more than that, you'll be charged the difference. In terms of non-alcoholic drinks, the unlimited open bar package includes sodas, tonics, and juices. Those seeking a more inclusive experience will want to consider the premium plus beverage package. While more expensive, it includes everything that the unlimited open bar package does and more. You'll get access to more premium offerings such as Grey Goose Vodka, Patron Tequila, and more. When it comes to wine, you'll have a larger list of options too. It also includes more non-alcoholic drinks. Do you want to enjoy unlimited Starbucks coffee? What about premium bottled water, fresh juices, and energy drinks? You got it. The discount for bottles of wine, wine and spirit experiences, tastings, flights, and connoisseur collection beverages increase to 40% off with the premium plus beverage package. Norwegian Cruise Line has three non-alcoholic package options for minors or those who are light drinkers. The first is the unlimited soda package. Those three years old and above will be able to enjoy unlimited fountain sodas and juices throughout their cruise. Next is the unlimited Starbucks package, which includes unlimited specialty coffees, teas, and refreshers. Finally, you can purchase a water package. If you want to stock your stateroom with water, you may do so for as little as $19.95 for six one-liter bottles. There are two other options as well, including $34.95 for 12 one-liter bottles and $49.95 for 24 one-liter bottles. So, how much do Norwegian drink packages cost? At $109 per person per day, the unlimited open bar package is the cheaper alcoholic package. The Premium Plus Beverage Package increases to $138 per person per day. The Unlimited Soda Package costs $9.95 per person per day, regardless of age, while the Unlimited Starbucks Package can be purchased for $12.95 per person per day. Note that you'll have to pay an extra 20% gratuity when you purchase your package. Did you know Coca-Cola products are served on board? Norwegian used to have Pepsi products, but in August of 2022, they began to switch to Coca-Cola products. 
Another thing to know is drink packages can be used while visiting Great Stirrup K. Does your cruise ship's itinerary include a stop at Great Stirrup K, Norwegian's private island in the Bahamas? Great news! You'll be able to utilize your drink package while ashore. This means that you can sip on your favorite fruity cocktail while lounging on the white sands or enjoying a refreshing beer with your complimentary barbecue lunch. Unfortunately though, Norwegian drink packages cannot be used at Harvest K. Harvest K is Norwegian's other private destination in Belize. The island was developed in partnership with the local government and inhabitants own the businesses and work on site. This means that, unlike most mainstream cruise lines islands, food and drink are not included, even if you have a beverage package. Moreover, you cannot use your cruise ship card to make purchases on the island, meaning that you'll have to bring cash and credit cards ashore with you. Are you sailing on Pride of America? There's actually a sixth Norwegian beverage package that can be bought only if you're sailing on board Pride of America. With the Hawaii beverage package, you will get unlimited craft cocktails as well as premium spirits, wines by the glass, a variety of beers, still and sparkling bottled water, sodas, juices, and Starbucks coffee while dining. Like the unlimited open bar package, it includes beverages $15 and under. It costs $109 per person per day. Something else to note about Norwegian drink packages is that you can get two drinks per transaction. Whenever you go to the bar, you are able to get two drinks at a time. Of course, you are not allowed to share the drinks with other guests. Another thing to be aware of is that all guests staying in the same cabin must purchase a drink package. Are you traveling with three or four people in your stateroom? If one person gets a drink package, then everyone else in the same cabin must get one too. For instance, let's say that one parent is interested in the unlimited open bar package. The other parents will have to get an alcoholic package and any children in the stateroom will have to get the unlimited soda package. This is important when you're budgeting for your vacation as this could easily rack up another thousand dollars or more. Something you can consider is booking a free at sea offer to get a free Norwegian drink package. With Norwegian Cruise Line's long running free at sea deal, you can save up to $1,400 on all the spirits and cocktails, wines, draft beer, juice, and soda. While you can get an unlimited open bar package for free, the promotion is not completely free as you'll be responsible for paying all of the gratuities which amount to 20% of the package's retail value. The unlimited open bar package retails for $109 per person per day, meaning that you will have to pay $21.80 per day in gratuities. You can also upgrade to the Premium Plus beverage package. If you opt to book a free at sea offer, you are able to upgrade your beverage package for $49 you can upgrade to Free at Sea Plus, which includes the Premium Plus beverage package, as well as additional shore excursion credits and even unlimited Wi-Fi. Our next tip is to consider whether your cruise is port intensive or not. If you'll be visiting a lot of ports, you might not get the full value of a drink package, especially if you're paying full retail value rather than opting for a package through Free at Sea. If you will be spending most of your day ashore exploring, you may find it difficult to take full advantage of your drink package. The less you are on the ship, the less you will be drinking the ship's alcohol. Plus, you can enjoy drinks in port for a fraction of the cost that you would find on board. On the other hand, if your Norwegian cruise is filled with more days at sea, you will have more time on board to utilize your drink package. It's easy to drink more when you're lounging by the pool all day. So how do you purchase a Norwegian drink package? If you don't book a package through Free at Sea, you're able to buy any beverage plan online through Norwegian's website. Once on board, guests can only buy drink packages on the first day of embarkation. Did you know you can get free drinks if you gamble a lot? Casinos at Sea Players Club is Norwegian Cruise Line's casino loyalty program. The more you gamble, the more benefits that you can unlock, such as complimentary drink cards, a free shore excursion, and priority disembarkation. Once you earn 5,000 points, you'll become part of the Pearl tier and able to enjoy complimentary house drinks while actively playing in the casino. 15,000 points levels you up to Sapphire, which gives you premium drinks. Finally, Ruby, which requires 35,000 points, allows you to order ultra drinks. 
Cruisers can also rise up the ranks of Norwegian Cruise Line's loyalty program to get drinks. Norwegian's most loyal cruisers will be able to enjoy complimentary beverages and discounts on drink packages. As soon as you finish your first sailing, for instance, you'll become a bronze member, which gives you perks like 30% off an unlimited open bar package. When you earn 20 points, which is equivalent to 20 nights on board in a standard cabin or 10 nights on board in a suite, you'll move up a tier and become a silver member. At this point, your discount on an unlimited open bar package increases to 40% off and you get invited to an exclusive cocktail party. Norwegian guests become platinum members after earning 75 points. Not only does your unlimited open bar package increase to 45% off, but you will also get a dinner for two with a bottle of wine on sailings that are five nights or longer and a wine tasting. Diamond and Ambassador Latitudes members get a whopping 50% off of a drink package. For those who don't want a drink package, you can bring your own wine on board to save some money. Passengers of legal drinking age can bring on board a 750 milliliter bottle of unopened wine or champagne or a 1500 milliliter bottle of Magnum champagne. If you choose to bring a bottle of wine or champagne on board and consume it outside of your stateroom, like during dinner, you may be charged a corkage fee between $15 to $30 per bottle. So there you have it, our 17 Norwegian drink package tips. Do you think you'll purchase a drink package on your next Norwegian cruise? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And while you're at it, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel if you enjoyed this video. Be sure to visit Cruise Blog for more cruise tips and advice.